This is Proverbs 11 and 21. Though hand join in hand, the wicked shall not be unpunished, but the seed of the righteous shall be delivered. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutation to you, Aki, and pushing this word with true sincerity, with charity. Presenting your bodies as a living sacrifice. We who are ready to live salute you. So I just want to go into this lesson, you know, and I was um, just the other day thinking about um, a particular man that uh, us brothers uh, from the Chicago camp of Great Millstone um, considered to be um, a friend of the prophets. Okay. It was a homeless man um, that we used to see a lot um, years ago out on the highways and byways. And, um, you know, he was homeless. He was an Ephraimite uh, brother. And uh, he always greeted the brothers with a smile. He showed mad, mad love to the brothers, man. You know, and we showed mad love to him. And he had so much love and respect for the brothers. I remember that um, and we would always try to offer him money. And a lot of the times he would, um, he would uh, <clears throat> refuse the money. You know, and his way he was saying to us in so many, you know, in, in his own way, like, hey, y'all brothers being out here and, you know, doing what you're doing and just the spirit, you know, because you could you could really tell, you know, like if he was, you know, he was probably down. You know, we've seen him certain times he was injured. You know, maybe somebody jumped him, robbed him. Who knows? You know, when you're out there like that, you know, all type of shit can happen to you. You know, you could tell the, uh, the man was going through it. And um, one thing you could tell is like when he saw the brothers, he just lit up. It's like his spirit uh, lit up, you know. And 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 us seeing that in him, you know, it lit us up, man. It, it was you know, it, you know, it, it brought you know we're comforting him, but shit, he didn't even know that you know in his own way he was comforting us as well, you know. And uh, he was uh, one thing. You know, I believe he was a uh, ex-military, you know, and, um, you know, here in Babylon, the great, you know, you, you, you know, as the scripture said, matter of fact, let me get a, a scripture on that. Um, man. Okay. Because here in Babylon, the great man, they don't give a fuck about their vets, man. I, and the Lord hates that. This is, um, Sirach 26 and, and 28. There be two things that grieve my heart, and the third maketh me angry, a man of war that suffereth poverty, and men of understanding that are not set by, and one that returneth from righteousness to sin. Yahweh prepareth such an one for the sword. Okay. And um, <clears throat> yeah, the Lord hates a man of war that suffereth poverty. You know, here it is, you... I mean, even as Christian says, no greater love uh, have a man that he lay down his life for his friend. I mean, that's the most you can give anybody is your life, you know. So a man of war who put their life on the line, they're supposed to be rewarded, man. You know, but here it is here in Babylon, the great, they don't give a fuck about their, um, their uh, you know, elderly, their, their veterans. They just don't give a fuck, man. You know, which is another re one of one of the infinite amount of reasons why you how about shimmy out is gonna smoke this place off the map all right okay and um you know i personally believe that he's in the spirit world right now i could be wrong you know but um you know it was a beauty he's a you know beautiful brother and we could like i said we considered him a a friend of the prophets and um I really based this lesson off uh, a particular day that I saw him. Um, I believe I might've been on my way to camp and, um, you know, the man was just, uh, you know, he was walking down the street, but he just stopped and he started yelling at the whole city, started literally upbraiding the whole city. You know, he started cussing people out. And I remember him saying, you're going to pay, you're going to pay. OK, you're going to pay. All right. And, you know, that's what Esau is running away from right now. That's why you have guys like Vocab, Heyman Malone. 
all right, trying to explain away our doctrine and all that, because Esau does not want to fucking pay, man. All right, he doesn't want to pay, man. All right, as a matter of fact, let me get another scripture on that. All right, this is Jeremiah 49 and 12. For thus saith Yahweh, behold, they whose judgment was not to drink of the cup have assuredly drunken, and are thou he that shall all together go unpunished? Thou shalt not go unpunished, but thou shalt surely drink of it, right? So, yeah, man, you know, just that thought, you know, really inspired that lesson. This lesson, you know, I was thinking about, you know, that particular day when I saw him downtown. He was basically in his own way, that, that particular day in his own way, low-key, you know, prophesying, man. He, he was saying, man, you, you know, his spirit was so vexed, man. You know, you people are going to pay, man. You proud-ass people, you know, who who walk past the poor, man or who grind the face of the poor man, because here in this place, man, you know, that that's the mindset. You know, these people don't give a damn about the poor. They're, they're poor, they're elderly, they're young. All right, this place is just, um, it devours men. All right, this place devours uh, souls, man. That's why it's such a, um, you know, it's such a, um, a miracle us standing on our feet, you know, you know, uh, um, and um, prophesying against Esau Edom, man, because you're going to pay, man. You're going to pay. All right. The wicked of our people are going to pay. The heathen is going to pay. Everybody's going to pay, man. You know, we're just hoping that, you know, we can get that white stone, which is that exempt exemption uh, from judgment, man. All right. You know, we're trying to cash in on um, the sacrifice that Yahweh Shah made, pretty much, you know, by believing in that sacrifice, you know. All right, and, and uh, you know, to the best of our ability, you know, walking accordingly, man. But the uh, the wicked shall not go unpunished, man. All right, you're not going to get away with what you did. All right, matter of fact, let me, you know, this is Sirach 16 and 11. Hey, because the Lord even... Lay into our ass, man. You know, just because we in this truth don't mean that. Listen, man, the scripture says all his ways are judgment, man. The Lord is all about judgment, you know, showing you that this world is totally against you. How about Shimei Shai? You know, because they shame uh, judgment here, you know. All right. But this is Sirach 16 and 11. And if there be one stiff neck among the people, it is a marvel if he escape unpunished. Hey, and we us and brothers in this shoot, we understand that, man. Because, you know, the Lord, even, you know, just because we do this work, you know, we still get hit in our shit, you know. For mercy and wrath are with him. He is mighty to forgive and to pour out displeasure. So we understand, you know, that Yahweh Bashimi Shah is all about judgment, man. Okay? In a place that's totally void of judgment, you know. <laughs> okay? But it's a marvel if a stiff, if, if he that is stiff neck, uh, uh, you know, would, would, would escape, man, you know? Because it really is not going to happen. Nobody gets away with nothing. You know, we don't get away with nothing. Nobody gets away with nothing, man. All right? Even King David didn't get away with, uh, you know, what, we, what he did. And, and he was the, you know, he's the Lord's, uh, uh, He's the head of the church, man. He was Peter, man. You know, he's beloved. Uh, uh, you know, he's he's the beloved, and even the Lord uh, punished him, man. So art thou he that shall all together, you know, go unpunished, man? All right, you know, because what we're seeing is Esau. He's he is that you know, just like Cain. He's a fugitive, man. He's a fugitive uh, from justice, man. Now I'm thinking about that song um, from the far side. Can't keep running away. <laughs> you know, can't keep running away, man. You know, even when, as a child, you know, I remember the term judgment day. All right. A particular day, you know, 
you know, that people spoke about that the Lord was going to judge the earth, man. You know, people don't really talk about it too much as they used to, man. In the early 80s and, um, you know, early 90s, man, you know, people talked more about Judgment Day back then, you know. Now, not so much. You know, we're in a TikTok generation, man, era, you know. But the Lord is coming to exact, <laughs> all right. Uh, matter of fact, let me get it. Right, this is Psalms 9 and 11. Sing praises to Yahweh, which dwelleth in Zion. Declare among the people his doings, all right? When he maketh, and what is some of his doings? How he's judged the world. The scripture says, uh, uh, look what desolations he have made in the earth, man. All right. All right, do you not, uh, have you not gone by the way? Do you not know their tokens? That the wicked is reserved for the day of uh, evil. He shall be brought uh, to the day of wrath. Roughly paraphrasing that joke. You know. But, uh, hey, the scripture says, hey, how oft is the uh, candle of the wicked put out, man? All right, the Lord is going to judge. All right, matter of fact, let me read up. Um, Psalms 9 and 7. But Yahweh shall endure forever. He hath prepared his throne for judgment. Okay. Matter of fact, let me start at 6. This is Psalms 9 and 6. O thou enemy, destructions are come to a perpetual end, and thou hast destroyed cities. Their memorial, memorial, Salaki, memorial is perished with them. Right. Yeah. The Lord is going to wipe away your memorial, your posterity. You're about to be out of here, man. All right. And the Lord, and the scripture says, the Lord uh, causes wars to end, to cease from the ends of the earth, man. You know, because Esau, Edom, he's going to be stopped, man. Yeah, the scripture says, if uh, those days don't be short, no flesh shall be saved, man. Esau's not going to stop until he is stopped. All right. Because he's the hammer of the earth, man. All right, scripture says that uh, how's the hammer of the earth uh, broken asunder, right? But Yahweh shall endure forever. He hath prepared his throne for judgment, right? And man, did the, and you Christians are always talking about um, only God can judge me. You can't judge me, and don't judge. It's all the, the, all his ways are judgment, man. And matter of fact, if you're void of judgment, you're considered a reprobate, all right? Showing you that you damn anti-Christians, you Serapians uh, are a bunch of, uh, you know, you're, you're, you're void of judgment, okay? All right? You're a bunch of reprobates. And he shall judge the world in righteousness. He shall minister judgment to the people in uprightness. Yahweh also will be a refuge for the oppressed, all right, and we're oppressed, man. You know, we're 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 our people are being oppressed. Okay, a refuge in time of trouble, and they that know thy name will put their trust in thee. For thou, Yahweh, has not forsaken them that seek thee. Sing praises to Yahweh, which dwelleth in Zion. Declare among the people his doings. All right, and that's what we're that's what we're declaring, man. What he's already done. In the past and what he's about to do now because you got people that like to say um those were the bible days no nah, the movie ain't over the movie ain't over you know what you getting up out your chair for you know the, the credits didn't roll yet <laughs> all right you're in the best part of the movie hey they say a movie's only as good as the ending right as scripture says the better is the end of the thing than the beginning all right the lord's getting ready to judge this earth man you're, you're in the best parts of the Bible days, niggas. All right. Sing praises to Yahweh, which dwelleth in Zion, declare among the people his doings. When he maketh inquisition for blood, he remembereth them. He forgetteth not the cry of the humble. All right. All right. So the Lord's inquiring about that blood now. All right. The Lord's searching out. He's, in, he's making inquisition for that blood, man. All the righteous blood that has been spilled on the earth and all the blood that's been spilled on the earth, period, man. 
All right. And what we're explaining to you, Esau Edom, is you have a blood debt that you have to pay. All right. Numbers 35 and 33. You can read it yourself, man. All right. You have a blood debt to pay. All right. And the Lord's not going to forget the humble person. He's not going to forget the, the cry of the meek, man. You know, which, like I said, you know, I was you know, thinking about that particular brother sighing and crying that day, which is what sparked this, you know, my spirit to do this lesson, man. All right. So the Lord's not going to, um, uh, matter of fact, let me get no scripture on that. Right. This is second Ezra six and 17. And it happened that when I had heard it, I stood upon my feet. Matter of fact, let me read up. And why? Because 16. And why? Because the speech of these things trembled, trembleth and is moved for it knoweth that the end of these things must be changed. And it happened that when I had heard it, I stood upon my feet and hearkened and behold, there was a voice that spake and the sound of it was like the sound of many waters. And it said, Behold, the days come that I will begin to draw nigh and to visit them that dwell upon the earth. And this is the time we're in now. That's why it's, uh, so many chariot sightings, man. That's ramped up, man. All right. And I will begin to make inquisition of them what they be that have hurt unjustly with their unrighteousness and when the affliction of Zion shall be fulfilled. So the Lord is making inquisition. All right, let me look up this word. Right, this is uh, inquisition on the etymology online. Late 14C, a judicial investigation, all right? And that judicial comes from the tribe of Judah. It comes from the word Judah, all right? Because Judah is um, the lawgiver. You know, a lot of these um, court terms like lawyer comes from lawyer, you know, all right. It, it goes back to the scriptures. It goes back to the tribes, you know, because, you know, we're, we're the real judges of the earth. All right. Act or process of inquiring from old French inquisition, inquiry, investigation. All right. So the Lord is making in, an inquiry. He's making an investigation of the crimes that have been committed here on our earth. All right, modern, modern French Inquisition from Latin, Inquisitionem, um, nominative inquisio, Inquisitio, a searching into, a searching into, right? And uh, that's why it says in Lamentations 4 um, that, that the Lord will discover thy sins, uh, Edom, all right? A seeking... All right. And the Lord's seeking you out. Scripture says, how are the things of Esau searched out? How is this hidden thing sought up, man? All right. The Lord and his Lord's about to make you bear. He's making you bear now. All right. Scripture says, search out, search out his iniquity till there be found none. All right. So at the end of the day, every, see, even with all the things we know through social media and with the spirit dealing with us, there's still so much crimes and bloody crimes that we're not going to know until the Lord returns. All right. Until we get that download. And I could just see, man, <laughs> you know, the Lord, the Lord's going to put his spirit on his men, man, to really, really get angry, man, and, and deal with you, 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 you Edomites, man. Legal examination. All right. That's what's happening to you right now. And what the scripture says, Savior shall come upon Mount Zion to judge the Mount of Esau, and the kingdom shall be the Lord. See, right now, we're just the officers that are, uh, uh, we're pretty much reading you your rights. Or we're like ambassadors, right? We're, 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 we're offering, we're not offering nothing. We're giving you the terms of your surrender. All right? We're not negotiating with you. All right? We're ambassadors of Yahweh Bashmi al We're ambassadors of the heavens. We're giving you your turns of surrender, man. All right. And what's this fucker going to do? He's going to try to kill the messenger, which when you do that, when the kingdom, when the king sends a messenger and you kill that messenger, that is an act of war. Now that army is about to fall upon you. And that's exactly what's going to happen to your ass. A seeking of grounds of accusation. 
Okay, because we're that we're, uh, the northern and southern kingdom uh, are those witnesses, man, and we have a testimony against you. Noun of action from past participle stem inquiry inquiry in church history inquisitor were appointed from 382 CE the root of heretics ecclesiastical court by announcement suppress heresy uh and that's about it that, that's the point man the point is the lord's seeking you out he's searching you out and he's searching out your iniquities man all right he's about to bring you uh into judgment man all right and you're gonna pay man you know you are going to pay you know vocab you can't run from it esau you cannot run from it that that tab is still on the table man all right you done <laughs> you know stuffed your belly in a restaurant you done well, reached over to other people's plates and went to their table, smacked their wife and took their chicken wings off their plate, man. And now the whole restaurant is about to stomp you to death, man. You know? <laughs> and put you in the back and make you do dishes, man. You know? But nobody escapes and you damn sure ain't escaping Esau Edom because you're the one, uh, even in the Zondervan Bible's dictionary, Edom prof. Uh, Edom uh, figures prominently uh, as the scene of great future judgment. All right, you're the people who the Lord has grounded no um, mercy, man. No place of repentance, man. So you're through. All right. But yeah, a little lesson I wanted to do. Hope there's some edification within it. And uh, Shalom, Kwame Asherah, and the Bible Ball.